On July 4th, 1988, the U.S. would be voted to host the 1994 World Cup. Hold on. Oh, my brain just lit up. July 4. They were given the rights to host the <laughs> on Independence Day. Wow, that's that's ironic. Hmm. Anyways, uh, this meant the U.S. would qualify automatically as host, making the U.S. the second CONCACAF nation to host the World Cup. CONCACAF was given one assured ticket to the World Cup, with one other ticket having to go through the Intercontinental Playoff match route. Uh, with the CONCACAF Championship no longer a thing, the format consisted of the Caribbean Zone and the Central America Zone having first round matches with top teams qualifying to the second round. The second round then had two groups of four in which the top two teams of each group would um, go on to the final round. Mexico would top the table, or the final table group, and would qualify to the World Cup. Canada had to play an intercontinental playoff match against Australia in which it unfortunately lost in penalty shootouts. At the World Cup, both the U.S. and Mexico would be ultimately eliminated in the round of 16. For the 1998 World Cup, CONCACAF was given three slots at the World Cup. There was a preliminary round in which the lower FIFA-ranked nations would face each other one-on-one, -on -one, and the winners would move on to the first round. Then the first round would happen in which the winners of each one-on-one -on -one battle would join the second round. The second round would have the uh, qualified Caribbean nations go one-on-one, -on -one, uh, as well as the lowest uh, FIFA-ranked Central American nations go one-on-one -on -one for a spot at the third round. And in the third round, there would be three groups of four in which the top two of each group would go on to the final round, which would come to be known as the hexagonal or hexagon. Hex I don't know how to say it in English. Hexagonal? That that thing that has six points <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, in the fourth round, it was a single table with only the three, with only the top three teams qualifying to the World Cup, and these would be Mexico, the U.S., and Jamaica. For the 2002 World Cup, Concacaf had the Caribbean Zone and the Central America Zone have their own separate qualifiers in the first round. The Caribbean Zone had three knockout rounds in which the winner of each would go on to the Caribbean Central American playoff for a spot at the second round. The Central American Zone had two groups of three in which the winner of each group would go on to the second round, while the second place of each group would go on to the Caribbean Central American playoff for a spot at the second round. Then at the playoff, a Caribbean nation would face a Central American nation, or Canada, who was the lowest ranked of the North Zone. Um, so yeah, they would play each other to see who would go on to the next round. So the winners would go on to the second round. The second round uh, then followed the previous format in which there were three groups of four and the top two of each group, which would advance to the hexagonal round. I know I'm saying they're on hexagonal. Hexagonal. Dang. <laughs> um, in the hexagonal, Costa Rica, the U.S., and Mexico would achieve the qualification for the 2002 World Cup. For the 2006 World Cup, CONCACAF was given three and a half spots at the World Cup, which basically meant that a possible fourth team could go, but they would have to go through an intercontinental playoff match. In the first round, the bottom 24 ranked teams were placed to face uh, each other one-on-one. -on -one. The winner would go on to the, uh, to the second round, in which the top 12 ranked teams were waiting. In the second round, the top 12 teams would face one of the teams that had qualified from the first round and the winner of each uh, match would go on to the third round. And once again, then the third round, three groups of four, and the final round being the hexagonal. The U.S., Mexico, and Costa Rica would take the top three spots and tickets to the World Cup. Trinidad and Tobago would end up uh, fourth and would qualify to the World Cup via the Intercontinental Playoff match after beating an amazing Bahrain team from the Asian Confederation. And I'll talk more about them once I go into talking about the Asia Confederation. For the 2010 World Cup, CONCACAF would actually follow the same format from the previous qualifiers for once. So since I don't, and I won't, have to explain the format, in the end, the U.S., Mexico, and Honduras would qualify directly, while Costa Rica would have become a fourth CONCACAF team, but unfortunately, they lost the intercontinental playoff match against Uruguay. For the 2010 World Cup, CONCACAF changed their World Cup qualification format, because of course they did. Round 1 had the bottom 10 ranked teams play each other one-on-one. -on -one. 
the winners would join the next 25 ranked teams in the second round that consisted of six groups of three in which the top three of each group would go on to the third round, which thankfully didn't change format and I can skip the fourth and final round. In the hexagonal, the U.S., Costa Rica, and Honduras would qualify directly while Mexico would join after uh, winning the intercontinental playoff match against New Zealand. For the 2018 World Cup, CONCACAF went from four to five rounds. The fourth and fifth round was basically the third and fourth round for the last qualifier, so I won't go much into details for those. Uh, For the first round, however, the bottom 14 ranked teams faced each other one-on-one. The seven winners would then go on to the next upper 13 ranked teams and face one of them one-on-one. In the second round, the 10 winners would join the upper two ranked teams where they would face each other again one-on-one. In the third round, the six winners would join the top six ranked teams. Fourth round would then be played and the hexagonal would finally be be played. Excuse me. In the end, Mexico, Costa Rica, and Panama would qualify directly. Honduras unfortunately lost their intercontinental playoff match against Australia. Lastly, for the 2002 World Cup, the format was slightly changed again. It was changed the second time after the forced everything uh, to be pushed back. Instead, the final format was of three rounds. The first round was the bottom 30 FIFA-ranked teams placed into six groups of five in which the top of each group would go on to the second round. Then in the second round, the six teams would face each other one-on-one in which the three winners of each bout would join the top five ranked nations. The third round was a single table with eight teams instead of six. And the top three would go to the World Cup, with the fourth place going to the Intercontinental Playoff match. Canada, Mexico, and the U.S. would qualify directly, while Costa Rica would win their qualification via the Intercontinental Playoff match against New Zealand. Whew, so that's it. That's the whole CONCACAF Nations at a glance for the men's division, though. Um, the next video, the women of CONCACAF.